Hey friends, welcome back to another video. This is not your typical Rush Royale video, is it? No, it is Ember Knights. This is a new game that we'll be putting not in place of Rush Royale, but adding on. So I'll be doing all of my normal Rush Royale videos and streams, but this will be an addition just to feel and see what you guys like. We'll, we'll get to see some other games. So um, this one today will be going through the excuse me the uh, single player gameplay of it but there's also a chance for multiplayer here so we could actually play it together um it's a really good community game i believe it's on it's this is pc but it's on um consoles as well i believe it's only 15 dollars, so really cheap there's no pay to win aspect to this it's all skill and fun skill and fun sounds great right after coming from rush royale um we uh aren't great at the game yet but like i said it's all about building your skill up so we'll be doing that in our um single player playthrough today if you do like this video and you like ember knights and you want to see more tell me in the comments below like the video hit the sub button if you can if you do like the video it really helps me out and the likes really tell me if you are enjoying this video so I can make this a series. I would love to make this a series because I really, really like this game and it's very cheap for everybody to get into. So let's go ahead and jump into that gameplay now. All right, guys, let's get into Ember Knights. This is such a fun game. So this is our little sprite. I'm not really sure what the, the name of him is, but he's a sprite to me. So you you can play with a sword whenever you first start out. And then whenever you get a couple more um, ember, what is it, uh, the embers, then you can get to the bow. We'll talk about both of those. We'll see those uh, gameplays. I'll do one gameplay with the sword and then one gameplay with the bow here to start out. But once you play a little bit, you get embers, you come into the ember tree and you can spend them on certain things to like skill up, like spec your character out. Uh, this one has to do with health and right now we're using regeneration so that we get health during uh, the rooms that we complete. And then this guy here so that we get 50 bonus gold whenever we enter the world. And then... Uh, Ember Knights gain 5% bonus damage after defeating a boss. That's a pretty good one. And then, actually, wait, let's go back here. Uh, we didn't unlock uh, We didn't un unlock this yet, uh, and we don't want to. We're going to move down and, and do this one whenever we get 100, because you can reroll these relics. We'll see those during the gameplay as well. Uh, the boss slayer, this is going to help me get through the boss level. Ember Knights deal 10% bonus damage to bosses the the boss is tough at least for me this game is has at least right now i don't see anything any pay to win aspects because it's 15 dollars to buy the game right now and then there's no in-game purchases it's just it's just about your skill in the game i believe there's a multiplayer aspect to this as well so that could be really fun this eevee whenever you beat a boss or mini boss you can get new uh, skill tablets through him and we'll also see the skills that we can pick up through the game so let's go ahead and get into the tear there is a storyline to this game so that's really fun makes it a little bit more engaging as well that there's an actual storyline uh, you can roll out of the way and whenever you roll an attack you can do that there um, you like shoot a little you know arrow out you can get some gold through like attacking this stuff that's around the map so if we go in here we can see so this guy right here this enemy um he makes these little tiny creatures that pop out and oh, whoops i took a <laughs> took a hit there trying to think about what i was talking about but he he pops these little minions out that don't do much damage but they can be annoying if you leave him on the map so i try to go for him first and then these guys are pretty annoying they can spin normally i try to like dash at them and hit them with with that and it knocks them out of the spin but other than that, uh, these worm guys shoot. Damn, I am taking um, stupid damage right now. I need to not do that. So the worm guys shoot some things at you uh, and hit you for a little bit of damage. I, I think it was eight. So here's our first skill, arcane bolts. Conjure magic bolts that seek out and damage enemies near and far. Let's pick that up. We can use it three times. And so if we go into here, we can use it. The the charge is three, the recharge is 10, and it has that sword beside it. So 
we can use it three times that's what the charges mean and then the recharge is how many times i need to attack an enemy before i can use it again after that three times so let's merge out of the way of these worm dudes shooting us with stuff don't get hit by this little guy um and yeah it's really a game of patience because you can obviously kill stuff if you just dodge out of the way and hit him so you need to to um to do that but it's really just about pacing yourself and taking time and doing it rather than trying to like rush through it your first skill use in each room casts war cry increasing all knights damage for five seconds wow that's really good uh it's a legendary relic so let's go ahead and pick that up nice um there is <laughs> i think that i saw on the discord that there is like some type of speed run to this so you could try to get through things as fast as possible, but uh, it's not typical. You're typically just trying to get as far as possible. So those guys throw those bombs and then they leave this poison cloud behind. So you need to watch out for that at all times as well. They can hit you for three, the bomb hits you for like eight, I believe, eight, eight health. So see at the bottom left there, we're down to, we're back down to 50, uh, 50, we're back up to 50 health because we have not taken any damage since the first couple hits and we've cleared the waves. So this gives you extra gold if you go through this portal and then this gives you extra embers if you go through this one. The gold is good for getting stuff in the like right before the boss round. There's like you'll you'll get to see there's a, a spot that we can go to that is going to be like in between the mini boss and this wave I believe something like that. It's what it seems like but you can get extra gold to buy things during that round or you can take the extra embers which is what i like to take so that you can progress in the game it's really nice uh, especially early on to be taking the embers so that you can level up your character i think that's more beneficial to me to be doing that sometimes there'll be like a like a loot piece around the arena there and um hopefully we'll get to see that but it gives you some bonus stuff Oh, oh, we just got hit by the boss. I didn't realize he shoots twice instead of once like these other guys do. So you have to watch out for that. Like, I was ready for him to shoot once, but he didn't. He shot at me twice. Let's go over here, hit these, make sure we're not getting any gold out of those. So this is the extra ember again. And then this way is a stat collector. So you can increase like your damage or your skill, uh, stuff like that. I'm actually going to go with the stat collector. Since we have that legendary call to arms, I feel like we have a really good chance against the main boss this time. So I'm going to try to, to do that. Oh, let's show the skill off though. So there, there's the skill. That's what it looks like. Oh, I meant to dodge. Didn't dodge. I'm still a pretty big noob at this game. <laughs> Like, I'm taking crazy amounts of damage right now on stupid stuff, and I, I can definitely be better, that's for sure. Use stat collector, so this is it. Um, speed, speed would be really good. Max HP, crit damage. We actually might take the speed because this spider that we're going to get to later in the game, I forget the name of it, is difficult for me to beat right now, especially because I don't move that quickly. So let's take this. Um, let's take the speed and see how it feels it definitely feels faster like you can feel that speed increase so that's nice especially if you had like two stacked together or something take that guy out that was nice cool there we go i think does it level yeah so i think the the skill actually recharges while you're not while you're not all the way out of it which is really nice so like you can use it yeah let me make sure there's the loot thing that we were talking about earlier we'll hit that at the end of the round here take this guy out and then we'll go over and grab it but yeah so there's the loot you can collect it you get stuff like you can even heal so that's nice and yes at the bottom left there we can see that we have three again of the skill so it does recharge you don't have to to use all of it to recharge it that's nice bring this back to Esper and he can identify for you. Here's a relic orb. We take this back to Esper that we saw at the beginning and he can, that tree, he can um, unlock that, that relic orb for us. So here's the mini boss. This one's not that hard. It's just about getting in, doing your damage and then getting out. So 
like like that like get in do your damage get out oh i wasn't ready for that normally i think i'm used to the other mini boss where he doesn't um use that attack there he he um doesn't do it twice like that he only does it once i need to go grab this other piece of food oh no i took a hit while doing it let's make sure that we're using these so that we can unlock them again. Wow, this one's pretty tough. Oh, now I'm done here, huh? Oh, I'm down to seven. Seven health. This is crazy. Oh, how was I not out of the way of that? Wow. I, I feel like I was out of the way. Uh, either way, um, that is the first boss. Uh, I haven't actually seen that one yet. I've seen like a different version of him, I believe. But we did get 121 embers, which is closer to our last weapon unlock, which is the staff. And then we got a new orb as well. So let's unlock that orb. Let's uh, upgrade some stuff on the skill tree here. So here's where we take the relics. The relic orb. Greetings, knight. Found another relic orb? Yes, we have. Let's see. So, it takes this. You find it. There. These tools should help you on your journey. Ignition break. Whenever you defeat a burning enemy, you get an aura that burns and damages nearby enemies. You can uh, use this on your journey now. This is one of the things that we can find. So, that's nice use the ember tree we'll come down here and i think we'll grab this now relic selectors can be refreshed one time yeah let's go ahead and do this and we need two more upgrades to unlock this this portion here i don't know what uh that last one is but we'll try to keep upgrading to get to it let's jump up here we didn't find any skill tablets that time because we didn't defeat the boss how many more of these guys do we need 114 more so maybe just one more playthrough and we can get 114 embers let's go ahead and grab the guardian bow like i said we we're going to before this one you can hold in like that to get perfect hold in a little bit better get that perfect times two like it just showed or there's a perfect times three there it is there's a perfect times three that you can hit as well so let's enter the tear we have more movement speed with the bow but we have less maximum health so with the bow you'll see that we can stay away from our enemies pretty nicely um it actually auto targets some of these littler ones which is good but it gets kind of difficult whenever things are getting close to you which makes sense So if we just sit back, like we can just take this stuff out. Nothing's ever going to hit us, but we do a lot less damage. So that's something that we have to think about. That doesn't have health, does it? Okay. So like this right here. We, like, whenever things start to get close, it gets kind of scary. But if we start to get damage on our bow, like we get uh, the skill, skill selectors or whatever, and we can get damage really nice the cyclone's really good to have because that lets us push some stuff away from us kill this guy and i think oh i thought we were gonna take him out there i thought he had less health there we go another uh, venomous necklace whenever you use a skill it creates a burst of poison oh cool let's try that out actually oh nice it's harder to kill these guys too like it just takes so much to take them out you have to stay away and constantly move I, I noticed that like I end up doing a lot of damage like a lot of damage to multiple enemies whereas with the sword I'll like focus on one at a time and take them out like that so I think we're gonna go with the extra embers just so we can try to get to that staff a little bit sooner 
put those out. That's nice. Tried to dodge there, but didn't. <laughs> that was kind of scary. All right, not too bad, not too bad. good let's um the stat selector is really nice instead of the embers here because we can get damage and the damage is like really good with the bow i found like you need one whoops Ooh, i'm glad we didn't take a hit there uh it's nice to have that one damage upgrade because i thought we would auto target that guy man that sucks get away from these so that we can do some damage here we need to take that out so he stops spawning some of this little things. Damage all that at one time. There's a lot of things going on there. There we go. Give us some damage, please. Give us some damage. Increase damage by two. Nice. That's what I wanted. So, now on to the next one. So is it better maybe to, hmm, I wonder if it's better to use that perfect and then spam your, I don't know, sometimes it just seems like you do more damage per second with spamming it than you do with hitting the perfects. I wonder how much the damage is increased. Let's use that there, there's a lot of enemies right there. Oh, the longer you hold it in, it, it's not only damage, but it is, like, it goes further. So maybe that's a part of it, too, is you're doing more damage, but you're also shooting further. So here's our mini boss. This is the one that I've seen before, I believe. This, yeah, this is it. So this one. Oh my goodness, I can't believe we took a hit there. We can stay back and deal our, all our damage to this guy. We'll stay all the way back here. Grab our food here real quick just to heal up. So we're doing 20 damage at a time against this guy. Not epic. I forget how much the sword does, I feel like it's like 80, but yeah, we can stay all the way back here. And like I said, it's you play the long game with this, like it might take a little bit longer to defeat the, the enemy, but you're going to defeat the enemy, you know what I mean? So just just play it like you have all the time in the world is how I've been trying to think about it. We only took that one hit at the beginning because we were being kind of stupid, but grab that food just to do it here's the shop this is why sometimes you want to grab the extra gold in the beginning so we can buy these things um we don't have enough for this we actually don't have enough normally you have enough to buy the main thing but we ended up with 146 gold here uh maybe we didn't hit enough stuff along the way i, I didn't want to do that while i was making the video but maybe i should uh hitting an enemy with a perfect skill attack poisons them that would have been really good coming damage is reduced as well that would have been really good for the boss coming up so let's see i still think like two hits would kill us though so maybe that's not that great because two hits always equals two hit like you know what i mean get that loot these guys are harder to kill with the sword actually because you they the way that they attack it's so much easier to take them out with the bow than it is than it is with the sword Okay, see, that's like the boss guy. I thought we were going to take him out there. Okay, not bad. Not too shabby. Skill selector. This will be nice. Maybe we can get some more damage.
Uh, here's a gold pot over here. It's like hiding. Oh, you can hit multiple enemies like that too. I didn't really realize that, so maybe we could um, do something like this where we grab everything together and we we hit them all at the same time with that. Okay, that could make it faster. If you're dealing dealing with multiple enemies at once, then you can kind of do that. Nice. Skill selector. Shoots a spinning bladed disc. This is really good. Blasts away your enemies with devastating explosion. This is pretty nice too for Archer because you want things further away from you. But this spinning bladed disc is pretty good too. And it's only 12 refreshes instead of 15. Um, and you can use it twice. I think we're going to go with the spinning disc. Yeah. And I, I actually just realized, I think whenever you use the skills, you can hold them in and get like perfect effects. Uh, I haven't really done that yet, so we're going to be learning that one together. Uh, we're full of health, so we don't need the healing fountain. Let's go with the stat selector. And let's try to actually um, use this real quick. Oh my goodness, you can use, you can get like a perfect, you can hold it in. Oh no, I didn't see that one coming. And see, like, you can just, like, sit back and pick these people off, too. It's, it's crazy what you can do with the bow. I think for my playstyle, it's it's better. Increase crit damage, movement speed. Oh, even more movement speed? Max HP by 6. That might be nice. Crit damage by 50%. Hmm. And the, the movement speed would be so good for this this last spider guy um so would the hp though another six hp he hits us for so much that let's grab it because i think he hits us for like 12 so that would give us three hits it would still be three hits right maybe we can get some more along the way and that would take us up to four hits So let's try this bladed disc with all these people here. I don't I don't think I got a perfect on that. Oh, that was a perfect. Okay, so it's not, not too hard to get a perfect. It's about the same time as this. Whoops, I almost got hit by that. Uh, Alright, so relic selector coming up. Nice. Oh, there's a lot of stuff here. Let's grab that. Oh, that wasn't ready. I tried to use my my finger slipped off of the controller there. Wow, there's so much going on here. We've damaged like all of them so much though. Back up. Oh, I didn't auto target for the attack. Good here. Nice, nice, nice. We are 33 out of 36 though, so we need to do a little bit of healing, hopefully, before the boss. Your skills do deal bonus damage against enemies with status ailments. Whenever you defeat a poison enemy, gain bonus damage for 3 seconds. Whenever you defeat a burning enemy, your skills deal bonus damage against enemies with status ailments. Maybe we'll grab that because... Are we poisoning anybody? Oh wait, whenever you use a skill it creates a burst of- Oh yeah, that's right. So... Maybe we'll grab that. Your skills do bonus damage against- Hmm. Let's- Yeah, let's- Let's grab this guy then. Okay. Okay. Alright, now we're on to the first real boss. This guy's pretty tough. I'm hoping we can take him out. We didn't get any other healings, uh, max health. So we are healed the full now, but there's no healing throughout this. So I think we can only get hit three times. We, I didn't realize it was so soon either. So we have 13, um, attacks left before we can use our first ability here and poison him. So basically what I've been trying to do is just get as far away as possible, hit him, and like I said, this is the long game with this. Of 
Oh shoot, I got hit. Yep. Uh, 15 actually, so. Ooh, scary. I think I need to... Let's see how much damage we do with this. Nine. I need to learn the, like, how to hit it perfect, because doing three times damage would be super nice. That was something trying to attack me. Yeah, 32. Super nice. Oh no! We found the one HP. Right, hit right here too. He's only in halfway. Imagine we took him we took him out from halfway with a bow without getting hit once. That would be crazy. That'd be video worthy, right? At least for me. Ah. Movement speed is nice. <laughs> no. Nope. Oh, what? How did we not get hit there? Alright, so he's about to get insane. He takes out the enemies there. Oh, I need to pause it for a second. My fingers are slipping. My fingers are slipping. I need to move. I need to move back. I gotta get engaged. All right, we're in the thick of it. We haven't beat him yet. Let's get into it. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. right now oh my goodness what is this no oh my goodness oh my goodness this is so scary ah! he have what did he have he had like no health left see I should have just backed up should have just backed up and shot my shot but I was getting too sketchy with it this is exactly what I'm talking about whenever I say just play the long game I should have just uh, backed up taken him out when I could and I would have actually defeated him it's all a game of skill and not pay to win and it's really refreshing after all of these pay to win games this is is so nice so we got this we got the staff we'll we'll dive into that into the next video let's go ahead and use our ember tree though we can upgrade this to re-roll each each upgrade adds one re-roll oh i don't even think we used that last time um we actually had some good ones so what's our what's our next one we can unlock skill selector can be refreshed one time Relic selector can be refreshed one time. Okay, I need to remember which ones these are. So let's go ahead and just unlock this for now. And then one more upgrade and we can unlock that. So what's this guy? Ember Knights gain 50 starting gold. Hmm, maybe five bonus gold per room they make a shop purchase. Um let's go ahead and equip or upgrade that, I mean and equip this and look at this one gain one revive token that automatically revives an ember with 25 percent hp oh, that's gonna be key to beating these bosses 
Nice, I didn't know that was a thing. I can't wait to get into this skill tree. We'll see you on the next video to get into that skill tree and use our new staff. What? All right. Have a great day.